Okay, so what is good everyone? Welcome back. Um, I'm NLG and today we're going to be talking about uh, something that is a little bit of a, a fun thought experiment. Um, it's not something that I would recommend, but I do think it's a funny topic to talk about. Um, it's something called Simp Demo and it is kind of, a, you're, you're, I'm exploring the idea of how much personal raid dps are you willing to sacrifice to bring your raid the highest spell power that you could possibly do um again full disclaimer uh this is not something that i would play this is not how i would play demonology warlock um however i don't see it being it, it's not that crazy to at least incorporate some of these elements into playing uh, support demonology warlock but yeah let's get started um, so first things first when it comes to demonology um, if you don't know anything about how demonic pact works which is this talent um, I mean we can just read it together but basically you give everyone in your raid um, a spell power buff and that buff is based off of your current spell power um, and it's going to be 10% of that current spell power. Now, what does that mean? Um, so you see right here, uh, this is my current spell power. Um, and it procs based on your pet critting. So my pet goes in, he's not critting yet, so I don't have the buff. Uh, someday he's going to crit. Okay, so he crit, I got the buff. That means that I had 3,600 spell power at the time of casting it. Um, and now my entire raid, if I was in a raid, has 360 spell power, uh, consequently. Now, let's take him back. Um, so if you read the other part of this talent, it says that this effect has a 20 second cooldown. So if you see, the actual buff lasts for 45 seconds. Um, that means that in 20, so... For the talent, it says 20 second cooldown. That means that after 20 seconds have gone by, um, it will be refreshed. And currently, the way that it works on private servers and how it's also working on uh, classic beta is that after this 20 seconds goes by, regardless of your current spell power, so let's say if it were to go down, uh, let's take off my weapon really quickly so if it were to go down so i just lost a ton of spell power there um it can be refreshed and come on crit already dude there we go see that so this is the actual spell power number that the raid is getting um it can be refreshed with a lower spell power um warlock or um if your spell power were to go down um and it also works the same way if i were to put uh where's my weapon it works the same way if i were to put a bunch of or have a bunch of spell power procs going at the time that uh this was about to refresh so you see i'm at 282 i'm gonna try and uh get some stuff going here there's my cloak okay so you see this 438 that's how much spell power um due to all these things um that's how much the raid is getting now and if you remember uh the first proc was like 360 or something like that um so yeah that's how it works um the way that people usually do it in current private servers is um Again, if you go back to the talent, it says that it can't be, it can't refresh for 20 seconds. So what you're doing is you keep your pet in. Um, for the pull, you would have all of your, your stuff going. You would have your trinket going. You would have your cloak enchant rolling. Um, you would have your life tap buff and uh, any other, uh, like you would have pre-potion going. Once everything is popped and you're at like, 
500 spell or 5,000 spell power or whatever. Then you send your pet in, and then he gets the, he crits, and then the entire raid gets a an improved uh, spell power buff. Now, how do you play this around the second buff? Because again, this has a 20 second cooldown, so the second buff cannot be um, refreshed over this, no matter what. Um, so you have to wait. So 20 seconds uh after the 45 seconds would mean that once this number hits 25 that's when it can be refreshed um so generally after the 20 seconds have passed people will call their pet back so that the entire raid can maintain this massive spell power proc that you had on the pull um what that means is that essentially your pet is afk for basically 25 seconds out of 45 second duration um that is how much your pet is afk so you see i almost i lost the buff for a second but i immediately send my pet back in to refresh it and i can keep my pet in um until tw this hits 25 seconds once this hits 25 seconds, I have the potential to ruin my my big spell power proc. Um, so yeah, I didn't um, go into complete detail, but that's the basics on how that works. So what does this mean overall? Um, and what does it mean with typical demo when you basically have your pet AFK half the fight because you're trying to buff the raid the most. Well, that means that it changes whatever glyphs you're gonna go. You're not gonna go, there's a Felguard glyph that gives your pet 20% attack power. Um, there's certain trinkets that are gonna be better. Um, so anything that has a big proc, so like 590 spell power here, um, you wouldn't go this trinket because it's got no big proc, but you would go something like uh, Dying Curse Dying Curse would probably be your Biss. Um, you would go things like Flare, Flare of the Heavens. Let me look for it real quick. It's from Ulduar. Um, it's also highly contested. And realistically, it's gonna be your Biss. Uh, yeah, here we go. So it's 850 spell power. So this combined with the 765 here, as well as your, your tailoring, your um, Wild Magic Potion, all these things are going to go into the raid buff that you're potentially going to put up. Um, and so, yeah, that's the beginning part of this. Okay, so um, now that you know how the Debonic Pact buff works and how you can utilize proc trinkets, um, cloak, and all that stuff in order to get the most uh, raid support buffs going... Um, I want to introduce to you a few interesting things when it comes to, and I'm not, I'm trying not to laugh because this is overall, this is a retarded idea to be honest, but I want to introduce to you, um, a few things that people are not doing currently that would net the raids overall damage to be higher because you're buffing the raid. Um, again, this is not how I would play demo. This is not fun. It's not um, Your pet is literally AFK half the time But I do want to put this out there and see what you guys think. So first things first um, This is basically tier 7 bis gear, but with a few variations. So if you notice um, That first thing with this um, This helmet is your Ember Skyflare Diamond. A lot of people don't even know what that is. Um, but this is going to, where is it? Here we go. So it's 25 spell power and then garbage intellect. And then it's also got, the, the, the meta requirement is that it's three red gems. That's gonna be different from your normal Chaotic Skyflare Diamond requirement where it takes two blue gems. So the thing about red versus blue gem is that red has way more spell power. So this gem is gonna give less overall spell power and again, affect your demonic pact less. It's gonna give you less spell power overall than this red gem here. Um, 
So yeah, first thing, again, this is a, a personal damage loss, but it is a raid damage gain. Um, so yeah, moving on. Um, again, you would, you would go jewel crafting, actually, because you're not going to go engineering with this build. Jewel crafting is going to give you more, much more pure raw spell power than engineering would. Um, and honestly, I would never in my life run, I've said this before, I would never in my life run with jewel crafting and tailoring on my, uh, on my warlock past tier seven. I would never do that. Um, tailoring and engineering are just way too strong. The boots are way too strong. Um, but yeah, I would never do that. But if you're looking to buff your raid completely and you can play flawlessly and just, you know, sacrifice all the personal damage in the world, you would you would go jewel crafting and you would put in three of these <laughs> uh, big spell power gems. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. So again, you would still go tailoring because this, um, this, what you call it, this, uh, this enchant would give you the most spell power even for a brief moment which would be enough to combine it for your uh demonic pact um in this socket though you would actually go with a we'll just put that in there for now um you would actually go with a, a pure raw spell power gem and that's the thing about this meta as well is that you can literally just go full red gems in all of your sockets um and that's what i did on this little thing um, so yeah, continuing down, uh, what else would you change? So yeah, you have 28 spell power here instead of the engineering glove enchant. Um, here's, here's a big variation. Usually in tier seven bis, you would go with the Malagos legs, which have hit and haste rating on it. However, as a simp demo, you're going to go with, uh, these Kel'Thuzad legs, which actually kind of suck. Um... But they have a lot of spirit on them. They have two sockets. They have way more total spell power than the KT legs are gonna, or than the Maligos legs are gonna give you. And remember, spirit in Wrath as a warlock gives you gives you partial spell power. I think as a demo lock, it's like 0.6 spell power for every spirit. Um, it could be a little bit different than that, but um, I'm pretty sure it's 0.6. Um, so yeah, continuing down. Again, you would go 18 spirit on your boots. This is going to give you like, what is that, like 12 spell power or something like that. But again, you're losing rocket boots. So, you know, that's that's a big trade-off. Um, another variation, you would go lost jewel. Because, again, it's got the spirit on it instead of the KT ring. Um, yeah, pretty big change there. Obviously, Dying Curse, um, the proc is massive. It, this is Biss anyway, but yeah. Um, and then you've got Sundial. Usually, you would go with Alu, which is out of Obsidian Sanctum. But um, Sundial actually gives you another proc. And yes, these two can proc together as well as your cloak. So you're looking at 760, another 600. So that's 1360. And then 300 here. That's... So yeah, that's like 1950 spell power just from your procs alone, which means that another 190 spell power goes to your raid. Um, and then this is the last change you would go with KT10 wand instead of the normal Anubarak 25 wand. Um, all of this is... <laughs> again this is going to you you're not even spell hit capped you're you're significantly below spell hit cap which is terrible when you're trying to do personal damage but again all the only number that you care about is spell power because it's going to affect your your demonic pact um but yeah i, I want to show last thing i want to show is um this entire set but with full raid buffs and stuff and see exactly how big of a spell power proc you could probably get. Okay, so now that you know about a bunch of different, uh, and again, I'm still trying not to laugh at how retarded this is, but um, now that you have um, a good understanding of what the demonic pact is, what you're trying to do, um, 
the big it, the, how exactly you're losing your own personal damage to fund your raid damage um i kind of want to give a little example of what potential you could have um so i'm not going to waste a bunch of my money re-gemming and stuff but basically i'll go through all my gear um again you would have the ember sky flare diamond you would have full um spell power gems you would go again and i'm not changing my profession either that that would be ridiculous just for memeing on a video um you would have 28 spell power here 18 spirit here um if i had to completely guess um you would probably net yourself another 100 spell power on top of this um if you were to do all the meme things that i mentioned in the video um but yeah as you can see here i have currently i have 3000 spell power here um and yeah i just want to see exactly what and i'm like full raid buffed um i have a bunch of midsummer stuff um my pet actually isn't buffed but i'll just put that in with the extra 100 spell power or whatever so as you can see i'm at 300 spell power here um where's my key behind? all right so yeah um here's my spell power um here's all my buffs and stuff now let's get this started so you would life tap opener my sundial just procced okay i'm at 46 5800 spell power so i i probably clipped it wrong i've i don't have the uh the uh i don't have the the what's it called the weak aura that shows my spell power proc on this server but i know i just saw 15800 so if you added another 100 or so from the things that i mentioned that i was missing you're potentially giving your raid 600 spell power proc and again that's that you're you're sacrificing a decent amount of damage like you're you're not even hit capped you're probably what's that three percent off two percent off um i i mean i again i just want to open the discussion on how much of your personal damage are you willing to sacrifice to give your raid the most damage um but yeah again this is just a fun video um i think it's hilarious i think that it will probably i think some of these elements will probably be part of the meta but i think a lot of it is just uh kind of too too far um but yeah i hope you liked it thanks for watching and have a good one